so I had signed up for practice labs <clears throat> a while back uh, for a free um, trial for seven days so today is my off day I was just uh, going through my email and I um, saw that and I saw I was like well, let's sign up for that and while I'm doing it you see I've been only using it for three minutes I took a uh, sample test this one <clears throat> and then I think why don't make a video um, so it's kind of uh, basically it's a qu quick start video here personal settings uh, let's see what is a quick start video so once you've connected and authenticated to the practice lab pr platform you've accepted any terms and conditions that may be available to you and you selected the course sequentially through the different the title you wish to collab let's make sure there's in most cases it actually results in collaboration with one another the quick start so before video. starting I'm any work turn it off. <coughs> personal settings oh oh basically these are all the videos uh, documentation this is for the settings <coughs> let's go take me to my files this one I was the test so I took the test <clears throat> I was actually thinking that uh, everything will be available but they have only given you in the trial version you have word network plus I think I'm thinking it's CompTIA <clears throat> it looks like CompTIA uh, let's go back uh, and then you have uh, security plus this, this is nice and Windows 10 so let's go with Windows 10 because I took the exam and that was something um, it said I passed something like that you see your average your attempt right there so I don't know um, they never like it was not a breakdown of what answered I got cracked or not no I don't I'm not don't, taking the exam <clears throat> all right so close uh, this one is no practice lab selected this one is the I think available practice lab so let's go with the Windows 10 uh, so let's take the test here I am installing okay so you have to click on it introduction oh <clears throat> step one power device so either I can click here and power on or I can click here and power all <clears throat> let's go and power on when I see so this one is now turned into <clears throat> busy establishing connection so I have a <coughs> connection to a server <coughs> and what else we have here oh I think we will install a hype <coughs> excuse me so I think we will install it within a Hyper-V connect to your lab so, so you have this one connect to your lab okay we did right power on all devices that's the name what needs to be done next so we so you have to <coughs> click next here what is the next step okay all right so <coughs> create a new virtual machine so you have to create a virtual machine step one there you power on the device that is the one 
you can see the name here dashboard is open click tools and select hyper-v manager <coughs> server manager dashboard is open that's the server manager right there dashboard is open click tools and select hyper-v tools hyper-v manager <coughs> so these are all my machines I could turn them all on right let's see I just click that see what happens nothing is happening new virtual machine okay so right click play hyper-v host and select new virtual machine <coughs> it's exactly the same like uh, i did on uh, my <coughs> hyper-v on my host computer so basically they teaching you step by step so you have to go uh, this is how it works so you see uh, on the left side and you perform it on the right side and that's how practice labs works that's good that's cool actually um, so these all the screenshot they're gonna give you one by one so normally when we learn in the back the old days we'll go and somebody will uh, do the real hard work of taking this screenshot making a blog or a website post you go read it and you know just follow it on your computer it's now it's just side by side they give you access to one of their machine on practicelabs.com and then you can uh, look on the left and perform on the right I so want to click on finish right here so I'm gonna uh, name it <coughs> Windows 10 actually because it's about Windows 10 so let's name it customize it as much as we can I'm gonna go with generation 1 <coughs> should I uh, Ah, uh, they wanted me to name this one, so let's listen to them. Or should we? I want to go with the, what the instruction says. <coughs> Play PLA Practice Lab Win 10 1. <coughs> That's their formatting, name formatting. Is it? P for Practice Lab win 10 and i think one stands for first virtual machine <coughs> step five generation one keep the default setting they want you to keep the default setting memory page they want you to give it one gb i normally go with two on my machines on not connected <coughs> connection to p lab private so I'll you um, so um, go with what's whatever they're saying on the left side uh, like don't uh, that's why I uh, I'm following the instruction the reason is that uh, especially this one the Ethernet connection they have to match with the physical one on the back end and only they know uh, what the real host machines have the Ethernet names and that's how they connect so if we don't listen to them and do something else it may not connect and then our machine will not be able to perform especially go online <coughs> so let's keep it everything uh, like they want it to be it's just a learning thing and when you have your own host machine you can <coughs> definitely customize it the way do you want virtual hard drives hard drive page <coughs> keep the setting and change so basically for the virtual hard disk you see whatever the name of the machine you give it the hard disk gets created with the exact same name <coughs> we're gonna keep the settings it's 127 GB okay click next installation option paste install and purchase from bootable all right and as this installation media they want it to be H mm -hmm. okay so H drive has the <coughs> installation media there like uh, are we 
are we able to browse on the host machine yes we can actually go and uh, and if you can see this is uh, an operating system dvd drive dvd drive h so this must be the <coughs> Uh, Windows 10 over here that's why they want us to make it H let's click here click finish here we click finish here it's creating the disk it's being created for the next task hyperware keep the application window open for the next task okay create a secondary hard disk this is interesting keep all the application windows open for the next task <clears throat> now task one is completed we created the plab windows uh, 10 one here and you see if uh, windows 8 and so windows 8 machines are already in there now let's go to the task two which is create a secondary hard drive Select settings. All right. IDE controller zero. I selected it. Click add. So you can add another hard drive. Basically, it already has a hard drive. We're gonna add, add just an, another one. <clears throat> Click new. before you begin the same message like in like just like I think I created the video two days ago uh, how to add a hard drive and initialize it but that was for the server <clears throat> this is in Windows 10 virtual machine click next choose this format let's go with the dynamically expanding location disk 2 <laughs> configure this page keep the default setting all right click finish okay click ok to save changes <clears throat> now this is the task 3 install windows 10 the dashboard is open click tool and select hyper-v manager Step two, action menu. So you have to click from the action. So <clears throat> this is interesting. Uh, in since um, this is acting as a thin computer. Thin computer is basically you get an image of what's happening actually in a remote location. That's why we have to go through action and then start. But uh, from my previous videos you know that on my host computer where I have installed the Hyper-V manager I there is a button I can click on it I don't have to go through a menu so that's why it's different <clears throat> and you can see it got the installation media automatically and now it's doing it should show up in DVD drive and release age so it's asking me to either capture either one of them there will I'm sure there are different uh, operating system and different uh, uh, ISOs in those drives and right now it has captured H and that's where it's going from <clears throat> so now it's gonna you have to just go with the I can pretty much do it uh, like without looking on the left but I want to go with the flow so you can see what's happening and 
and of course I have to scroll through to get to the next task <coughs> so yeah you see they want custom because this this uh, computer has never had an operating system before that's why we're doing the custom and they want it on the first one click new ah. <clears throat> okay so they want to 5 GB I'm zooming or 50 GB of uh, drive yeah 50 GB okay <clears throat> so basically that's uh, if you remember in my last video on server uh, hard disk and server I told you that you want to keep your C drive where the actual uh, installation of operating system uh, host uh, house itself you want to keep it separate from any other thing so that's what it is automatically select your C let's go and here it's installing <clears throat> so back in the day when we had XP uh, I will create C drive only for operating system. I will install all of my software in D drive. So now it's the weight of uh, letting it install. Let's go. Let's see and get getting going fast. Use express setting. Okay, so we want to go with the express lab user one. How about I pause the recording here? You don't need to see the counter going from 1 uh, to 100 so it's restarting now <coughs> so yeah we're not gonna press any key because we do not want the setup to continue again from the installation uh, drive now we want to get the files uh, that were already copied into C drive uh, to boot up from there and finish up the rest of the installation Again, I'm gonna pause the video you don't have to see the spinning wheel so just like they asked us to go with the Express settings we're gonna do that if it allows us use Express setting click on that I will say it's a little bit of sluggish I am but it's doable so definitely use it with a connect like don't use it on dial up 
and I'm not sure if there's a dial up anymore anywhere uh, you can <coughs> because basically you are getting just the video an image of uh, a live feed of what's happening in a remote server somewhere in um, UK or I hope they don't go on <laughs> or uh, if uh, I don't want to defend them maybe in uh, Ireland or Scotland uh, yeah Scotland all right so what's who's going to use this PC they I think they wanted to name it something like lab user one express setting lab user one right make it enter the password that will be I hope I am uh, right for the hint we don't have to write it down we can put default <coughs> so by default even they would know that it's the one that <laughs> the password is the one that they wanted so we got the high message over there and I'm hope uh, that uh, um, all the tasks gets completed in an hour because that the hour long window they gave you for this one The one thing that I could not find on the internet when I was searching, there's no pricing information about Practice Lab. Even on their website, there's nothing mentioned. Uh, so I was confused. Uh, so the only reason I'm uh, going through all this stuff, even though I have done it a few times, um, that I wanted to see what it is, how it works, and like is this the platform that I want to use for my future learning uh, other stuff uh, so far I have just a glimpse of uh, what they have to offer so I want to see like what's the whole what are all other courses available what I can learn over there like I'm not gonna sign up if I don't know what they are t uh, they have over there so and I could not find that information anywhere like what is the pricing uh, what are the courses over there server um, I uh, from a third-party source that I know that they have some CompTIA CCNA and uh, mm, server things but uh, like a list is uh, appreciated you can see okay hey yeah I'm interested in this course I should sign up for this and go through them but I might have to send them an email to get the list so let's go completed URR if I click here and lab user one I am so <clears throat> task for rename the computer rename computer is easy uh, if you have the my computer icon here you can right click on that but from Windows 10 it's a lot different so a lot of them from uh, the settings you can go through by right clicking on um, start button and get to them so change settings I'm gonna go with this one <coughs> so this is a description <laughs> like a few of my colleagues they always put the name here and they say hey it did not change it always has to be from the change and we're gonna name change the name on the system window locate computer name domain okay so full computer name we don't have a domain here it's a work group right change setting click change computer name that's what they want you to do it for the computer name they want it to just like the uh, 
virtual machine name 101 and click OK okay they just want to change the name they don't want it to connect to a domain because they are just let's go and quickly install restart it please because we are running out of the time here we have only 30 or so minutes left task 5 create volume so in the old days it was always a partition and with Microsoft uh, way of working it's always volume and I think it's uh, easier uh, to shrink or expand volume than it is to do with the partitions we click it I did so you see that's why I'm saying it's a little bit uh, sluggish we can enter the pass word here click enter this management so like I said that uh, in older version of Windows you have to actually go to a certain um, like you have to go to a certain place to get the access to that uh, uh, option or setting uh, with Windows 10 a lot of them are cramped into uh, start menu all you have to do is you don't have to click on start menu you have to right click and in that uh, pop-up menu you will receive them so they want you to go to disk management initializing disk initialize disk click OK So this one is analocated. You see extend volume or shrink volume. We can click on that and new sample volume. Where is initializing? There's nothing file action I think they missed something here oh, okay let's go to the next step maybe they want you to click on this one right click unallocated and select new sample volume do with that one but I cannot do it we here because that is unallocated this is uh, already so click this one and right click unallocated that's this zero we're gonna go with that one uh, the instruction are a little off I'm gonna keep it I whatever is the default over there so NDFS is always preferred finish <coughs> so what it does is it quickly formats it and you see this was a D C D uh, it, but they have a few over here CD ROMs here so 
we know that we have up to H that's why I did never got the E because E F G H there are four already there so that's why it got I here if you remember we installed the windows from H that's why it got I here all right so now we got the DOS 6 they mentioned it it's a workstation control panel so now they don't want to call it start menu cancel they want you to cancel it right if you can see um, ignore any screen prompt that formatting the new volume by clicking cancel so they don't call it start menu they call it start charm click control panel so the control panel I can still the same from Windows Vista all the way to this point small icon file history link yeah this is very important like the backup and restore in Windows 7 it's called uh, I think backup and restore but in this uh, Windows 10 uh, it says file history <coughs> and I don't see it folder option it's not there I don't see uh, file history so for that let's That could be because we went with the express settings so it never got installed probably so we have to search here what if it's in file explorer I should not be in server manager I should be inside my oh I am looking in server I should be in the P lab I should search in that one and for that ah okay so you see the windows is a little bit small I should have gone from uh, here and here control panel so basically I was working in uh, 
the control panel of a server and not the control panel of um, Windows 10. Now we can do that. And what if we did the same mistake for the uh, risk management as well? We, yep, this one, okay, we get the message. And now if, if we s click on, uh, uh, God, it's, mm, come on. That was the new sample volume. So the construction were not off they were correct i just uh, clicked on the server's um, start menu rather than the we can get give it the e in windows 10 because windows 10 does not have access to all those uh, drives outside next finish we got it and they want to ignore let's go that now for file history i can Locate the keep history of your file selection, turn on. Click turn on. But before that, now we have to click turn on. All right. So it got turned on. Run now. system image backup this one right here the backup and restore that's what I was saying the backup and restore in some windows is displayed right set up backup this one so it's gonna initialize it we have only like 20 minutes left It got the E drive over there. Yep, it is. Click next. Let Windows choose. Let Windows choose. Let me choose, okay. Review Review your backup settings, okay? So now the backup is running and you can see that's the backup in progress. It's backing up my uh, hard drive. So if you remember, they created a 50 GB partition for installation. And now we are running for uh, the backup on location is, if you can see E, that is uh, about 127 GB. That is to make sure that the backup has enough space on the backup location to be backed up. hope we can click view details to get what's C system image of C
I'm gonna pause the video here. You just you don't need to see a progress bar. So I think it's done. I wanna say it's done, but So backup size is seven. Click close. The message never appeared because I was uh, kind of fooling around with it. If it's uh, behind these uh, open windows, then. So backup and restore, click close, backup and restore Windows 7, backup. so we have to exit out of this one, backup and restore Windows 7, and close file history window, come on, where is my cursor? the backup is done verify system image backup one click start and select file explorer I can do it from here right file explorer from D is the drive okay. close window and go with the file explorer here that would be this one click on that let's go with this. so D is the installation media right click start and select shutdown and sign out So this is the installation media, but E has our backup. If we can go in E, we see backup there. So now we have to restart it to shut down or sign out. Uh, we're gonna do the restart. I wish I could uh, um, resize the window. Uh, if it's possible, I don't know. I'm gonna get my 60 minutes back. So while it's uh, click any key, mouse. Setup initializes. I set the default settings, okay. You are not supposed to log in. Oh, Koten, to a kebon in Lagia. Edra? When this is to Alcade. We are Windows, we will solve oh, it. Oh, 
so default setting click next step 7 repair your computer on the bottom so we go with clicking next repair your computer now we get to um, get the installation media out of that backup that we created early troubleshoot so basically continue is that you um, don't go with the setup process you log into your installation already so you have to click on or you can turn it off um, so we went with the middle option that was troubleshoot we click on advanced we can either reset and reinstall the window automatically and we go with the system restore in image recovery or startup repair startup repair is just uh, repairs it Windows 10 and system images here so it, it can uh, uh, scan it keep the default setting they want you to keep the okay this is nice so basically what happens is uh, we backed up our um, image uh, uh, on E but during this process the everything goes up uh, uh, one letter so C becomes um, possible B <laughs> but basically D becomes C the uh, DVD drive and E that became D and there is no C because we are assuming that we're gonna read right uh, so there is no C because uh, like what we're about to do they assume that uh, C is not needed so they don't care uh, and you're just you we don't care and we just want to override C so we're gonna with if you can see it found a image over here that is the latest one it was created at this time uh, if you can uh, the time is here um, <clears throat> oh but uh, if you're watching this video if you can go just a little bit back or keep an eye for the uh, time you will see the time over there and it will be around 141 uh, over there where this uh, B practice labs are hosted So they want to format the old one format get rid of uh, the old one and you're gonna get this one installed click finish and you're done so you get this error message which is saying that uh, will be restored formatted and replaced you will lose everything whatever is there you want to continue you will say yes and now it's gonna be trying to preparing I should have like uh, broken down these videos uh, into all with the, all the tasks. It would be easier. I just made a long video. I don't like long videos. I like the shorter versions. So you see it's restoring this 
while it's restoring you can enjoy the video <laughs> <coughs> all right so it's almost done uh, oh as soon as i clicked it uh, uh, give the message so restart now so let's restart it again you don't have to see the uh, churning wheel but i think this one is done So you see if it's um, <clears throat> the difference between a fresh install and the um, restoring an image backup is that it has your password already so you don't have to create new one you can use the last one the old one and it will work but what happened if you had a password you created an image then down for example after two weeks you change your password and then you lost uh, the uh, installation and you have to use the image what do you think which password will you use will you use the old password or will you use the new password if you are saying you will use the new password you're wrong because you change the password after you created the backup so the backup has the old password <clears throat> now now since we i think it's going for the uh system okay so it wants to check the system name and you will see uh, where it is computer name We change play P lab one ten. So it should have been P lab one ten. It was never into this is hyper V. I need to be in Ah, see again I did the same mistake. I click for the Windows server. I'm looking at the server. I need to and that's why I'm hating this uh, small window. I have to click here. This is the restored one. And it's going to check the name to tell you that hey, we are. It's not the default one, uh, the name that when you install the windows, you get a default yeah. name. So that's what it's saying. Let's click on next. So all the tasks done on over here. Let's click on next and see what's up. How about I break the video here? I shut off this video here, and for the next part, I'll go with the next video. So, see you in the next one.